have seen him playing in bars around town or remember his songs from the 70s but there are a number of accusations made years ago that you may not know about wave 3 news investigative reporter natalia martinez has been working on uncovering this story for months pulling records from the archives revealing accusations that spanned 11 years and she has this exclusive story tonight and this involved multiple teenage girls natalia all with similar stories about what they told police was going on in the singer's basement. He was never charged or arrested and still gives vocal lessons today. So would you make him feel welcome, please? Turley Richard. Summertime. He's got singles, record deals, and lots of talent. But one more thing Turley Richards has a history of accusations. I definitely think that there are two sides to him. He has a very dark side uh, that he is very good at hiding. In 2002, Aaron Rutherford was a typical teen with lots of friends and in the choir. And for Christmas in 2002, Rutherford's parents gave her a present, vocal lessons from Turley Richards, who would later promise her stardom. Did you or your body was like the report from 2002 details her interview with police Rutherford told the investigators she ordered Turley to stop touching her and he'd back off for a couple of days but she said things eventually escalated to him giving her naked massages and oral sex that felt very uncomfortable to me and not like a normal thing that I should be doing with a 60 year old man. When Rutherford's mom found out, she called police. When Rutherford recently came forward, what she didn't know is that her investigation wasn't the only one. Six investigations from alleged victims in 2002 from three different schools, all between 16 and 18 when they came forward, all with similar allegations. In the documents, the teens described a lot of massages, forcible kissing, and inappropriate touching, sometimes on top of their clothes, sometimes underneath, all while promising the teens fame. Some said they told him to stop, but were scared of him. People have this kind of behavior in a dating relationship today or with politicians or things like that, and everybody's outraged. Well, this is with children. As part of their investigation, Louisville police detectives collected inappropriate email and a diary where one of the teens describes Richards pulling down her clothes and says she wanted to die. I got to feed. It was left up to the Commonwealth Attorney's Office to charge him with felonies, but that never happened. So why wasn't he charged? According to the detectives, the Commonwealth believed there was no evidence of forcible compulsion and noted the teens were at least 16 at the time, the age of consent. They recommended the family seek misdemeanor charges, but we found no proof that ever happened. Those laws, I think, failed us as victims at that time. In 2013, another 16-year-old girl went to police with claims that Turley touched her over her clothes. Once again, no felony charges. So parents apparently decided not to push it further. Today, words from 16 years ago sound very familiar to current news stories. Asked why she didn't tell her parents what happened, one girl told investigators Turley could help her in Nashville if she told her singing would be over. Another teen quoted Turley saying, if you told, your mother wouldn't let you come back and you'd never get a record deal. We asked if these allegations were made today, would things be different? So there's more protections in place and the law is moving in that direction because you know, the, this behavior is shocking. Leland Holbert, a former assistant Commonwealth attorney himself, explained the law was different in 2002. For example, it lacked protections for teens under the abuse of a person of authority, like a teacher or a coach. So Kentucky is moving in that direction to show that consent uh, has a much broader meaning these days and protects more victims. No, no, no. Turley continues to give vocal lessons today in the same basement he did 16 years ago. 
That's where we went to talk to him, though he didn't want to talk to me on the record other than denying any of the allegations were true. Hey, I do have a microphone and I am recording. I don't want to know. Richard's Facebook posts say his students are as young as 11. That's the reason why Rutherford decided to come forward. I have a lot of concern for his students and parents that are seeing him right now. Rutherford no longer sings in public and says it's just a painful reminder. Trying to you know, really express the emotional pain that he caused is difficult, um, but it's there. Richards told me off camera all of the accusations are untrue and said if there was ever any inappropriate touching, it was accidental because he is blind. He also said that he does not see underage students without a parent present for fear of being accused again.